Killzone 3 beta is up and running, allowing a select group of players to get an early run at the online multiplayer game. New game modes, tweaked controls and classes, and nasty looking melee kills provide a good idea of what the online experience will be like. While Killzone still maintains a distinct feel that sets it apart from other shooters, players will notice the controls simply feel a bit smoother and responsive, which is always a good thing. And while this version of the game is marked as alpha build, the overall look of the game is already solid, with the Frozen Dam stage in particular making use of some impressive environmental effects. There are three available battlefields so far, including the Corinth Highway map, which places mounted guns in exo-mech suits amidst the landscape of ruined buildings, and the Turbine Concourse map, which features the new machine gun equipped jetpack and a massive timed energy reaction that fries nearby electronics. A trio of games matches the map selection. The dynamic Warzone game type from Killzone 2 returns, providing varied objectives to each team. Clear markers and indicators naturally encourage teamwork and continually shift the focus to different areas of the map. Operations mode provides linear objectives for both attacking and defending teams, with cutscenes depicting the setbacks and victories along the way. Finally, Guerrilla Warfare is completely dedicated to Team Deathmatch, where the only option is to kill and be killed. Along with your objective, the way you play will be strongly influenced by your class. The five choices have unique abilities and multiple weapon choices that make each one feel surprisingly solid. The engineer, for example, can repair objects, construct turrets, and carries a light machine gun that might even be too effective in its present state. It'll take some investment to rank up and acquire all the options, but effective tools are available almost immediately. The infiltrator's sneaky ability disguises him as a member of the other team to move in for close quarters kills. Weapon unlocks give each class some enjoyable versatility. Selecting the lethal shotgun pistol can help offset the close quarters weakness of the marksman, for example, and with a robotic helper watching his back, the field medic can equip an assault rifle for truly formidable offensive power. Prominent on-screen experience points provide instant rewards for your performance, with headshots, killstreaks, and the completion of specific objectives leading to multiplied points. Being a team player will ensure you rise in rank and reap the rewards that much quicker. This early look at Killzone 3's multiplayer experience is very limited, with restrictions on which modes can be played on which maps, and there's still obvious room for tweaks. Even so, the game clearly demonstrates a great deal of promise in terms of basic playability. You can count on hearing further battle reports from game trailers as new information becomes available.